FKF Premier League chairman Nick Mwenda, who has also declared his candidature for the forthcoming FKF national election, said the contentious agenda that stirred controversy and resulted in the calling off of the annual general meeting in Ogembo in June must be corrected. Among the changes that Mundua and other delegates want effected are the elevation of counties to be the new FKF branches and the lengthy bans that were slapped on some of the federation officials be lifted. We would like and we want each county to be a branch. That way the branch chairman and the branch executive in a devolved government function, just the way our, our government is, can actually perform its function at county level. Therefore we can have county leagues administered by counties and we can raise resources at the county. The only issue of who should run the forthcoming national elections, whose debt is not known yet, has proved to be an elephant in the room, and Mwendo says IEBC should be led to handle the exercise. Most of us agree to that. Uh, we would not like a situation where an incumbent runs the election. We want a situation where uh, the elections are fair run by an independent body and they are credible. So when I lose or win, then I can congratulate whoever wins and we can move on. Nick was speaking at Hamza Grounds during the second round of the inaugural edition of Nairobi Champions Cup matches. In some of the results, Dandora Dortmund qualified for the third round after aging out Blackstar Def 3-1. Goals by Elias Julius, David Ouma and Moses Otieno were enough to lift the winners. Blackstar Def got their only goal in the 33rd minute through Chris Odiambo. In another match played at the same venue, Gormahi Youth, where there were other winners aging out Ligindogo 2-1. Finally, reigning men's basketball Premier League champions KPA beat Strathmore University 770. The match played at Nyayo Gymnasium. KPA won the first quarter 21-9, but Strathmore regrouped and won the second period 17-14. However, KPA sensing an imminent defeat had to rely on their depth and experience to win the two subsequent quarters 21-11 and 34-33, who all but registered the crucial victory. In some of the results of the matches played at the same venue, Upper Hill easily beat Nebula Kakamega 82-43. Banadokumo is caught.